Hello there, and welcome back to day five of our magical German beer advent calendar adventure. Uh, today, I'm super stoked to jump in and see whatever we got waiting for us. So let's just go ahead and hop right in here and see what day five has for us. Let's see, day five is here. Okay, so let's see what we got. So this is hmm, Cress Beerish Zwickel. <laughs> so it's a Zwickel. Interesting. I don't think that I've ever had a Zwickel before, so this should be pretty interesting. Uh, I don't really know much about it. <laughs> so. I guess we'll learn a little bit after I finish doing the tasting and I do some research for those uh, fun pop-up facts for you to, you know, put in your toolbox for later. Uh, let's see. So it is, looks like 5.4%. This here, Cress. Cress Byrish Zwickel. Uh, looks like the brewery is Prevop Brauerei H. Eggerer <laughs> is the brewery that makes this. So, uh, looks like it's a German beer. I know there's a, there's a couple in here that are Austrian. So, um, this one looks like it's German. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and see what we got. Uh, come on. It smells kind of light. Mm. Initial sort of fruitier tones almost. Like a mild banana or orangish. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Go ahead and give us a pour. Oh, that's an interesting color there. It's kind of an orange color. That is really orange, <laughs> kind of an amber orange, you know. Let's see, hmm, there's like no head on it at all. Look at that. <laughs> it's, it's it's absolutely. I know I didn't pour it really hard or anything, but pretty much no head whatsoever. It's a little cloudy too. Um, so that would probably suggest that it's not filtered. So this is kind of an interesting, interesting beer. Hmm. Yeah, get some, a little bit of, uh, almost a, definitely a little bit of fruity, almost kind of an orangish, uh, just a mild hint of orange. A little bready smell. Hmm. Mildly earthy. Mm, it almost kind of reminds me a little bit of the Hefeweizen. So, yeah, you can kind of see it's, I know you can't really see on there, but it's definitely cloudy. It looks like there's just a, a little bit of particles floating around in there. <laughs> but, all right, so let's give it a taste, you know, we've smelled it looked at it. Let's see what it tastes like. Mm. Ah. Yeah, that's nice. It's smooth. Um, it does kind of have a mild bready taste to it. It is, it is a little hearty in that respect. Uh, but also it has a mild, that fruity smell to it. It kind of tastes how it smells, which is pretty good. I can tell you that. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, 
that is really nice and smooth. Um, there's a little bit of bitterness to it, uh, just a tad. It do, I can taste a bit of the hops. You know, it kind of has that sort of little slight bitter hoppy taste. Just a tad, kind of more of an aftertaste, really, than anything. The aftertaste does linger a bit, but you don't really get that taste up front. It's, it's all in the back end. Up front, you kind of get that sort of slight, bready, fruity taste. Um, and then the sort of the hoppiness comes in on the back end and lingers. Pretty good, pretty good. Mm. I'll say it, I don't think I enjoy the taste as much as the Hefeweizen. I know that's not what this is. This is a, a Zwickel. Uh, <laughs> so I can't recall if I've ever had a beer of this type before. So it's kind of a, this is a, a sort of an interesting experience. It is good though. And it's just that, that mild, bitter hoppiness at the end. Oh, excuse me. Which I guess I'm not as a fan of, j just in general across the board for beers. Um, I'm just not. I like that sort of taste to be more subdued. And th this is pretty mild, though. It is pretty subdued, so it's not overpowering or anything like that. Again, very easy to drink. <laughs> so far, every single beer from this box has been pretty good, um, in my amateur opinion. <laughs> I mean, I've had lots of different beers. Um, I'm no expert or anything, so this is just all my personal opinion. Uh, and of course, there's going to be some bias as to my personal preference and taste. However, I never turn down a beer. Um, I'll always try something. I'm never gonna say, oh, well, that's not the type of beer that I normally like, so I'm not even gonna try it. If it's there, I will certainly try it. I'll happily try it and reserve my um, opinions until after I've sampled it. Yeah, this one's pretty good, though. Definitely a, a new experience um, with the Zwickel. So. I am definitely going to enjoy finishing this, uh, and I think I'm, that's going to wrap it up for me. Just a quick, you know, day five, and we will uh, thank you for joining me, and we'll move on to day six here soon. So you take care, and you have a good one.